Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Good morning from Lahore, Pakistan. Assalamu alaikum. I am Dr. Javed Iqbal Kokar, Professor of Forensic Medicine and Toxicology. As I am discussing drowning, and this is the seventh lecture of this series. And the learning objective of this lecture will be that I will be discussing the most important finding in drowning that is the diatome and their significance in the drowning. Then I will be also discussing the diatome test how it is to be performed. So starting with the topic of internal autopsy findings in drowning and continuing with the topic I will discuss the significance of diatoms in drowning. The diatoms basically they are microscopic unicellular algae suspended in water and most of the natural water contains diatoms. In the routine we, we water which we drink it contains diatoms. So they have a silicon cell wall which resists acid digestion, heat and putrefaction. So that's why the diatom detection they can be detected and they are significant in drowning. Their average size is 10 micron to 80 micron. They live free or unite to form colonies either in plankton form or attached with something. Plankton means they are free floating in colonies or they are attached something, some wall, some stone or something. So the freshwater diatom they are specific similarly the marine or the salt water diatom they are also specific. They are all there are millions and millions of species so they are specific for each water. Only the living person with the circulation intact can transport diatoms from lungs to the tissues and where they can be detected with the help of microscope. So this is the process that the water is ingested it goes into the lungs, enters into the circulation, then it goes to the liver and other organs where it can be detected. Their presence within the viscera only is of no significance. That you only detect diatoms, the diatoms will be detected in every person. So the significance is that uh, they all water because contain all water contains water. Uh, diatoms, so their detection, simply detection is not significant. And to ascertain drowning as a cause of death in a particular medium where the body has been recovered should match the diatoms which are detected from the control specimen which were uh, collected from the that medium. That means the diatom species which are detected at autopsy in various organs under the microscope, they should match with the similar species which has got the control water from that particular medium. Then it is significant. Mere detection of diatom, it is not significant. The species should match the medium in which the body was recovered. Now about the diatom test, how it is performed. Diatom detection proved to be the only golden standard in death due to drowning cases. This is very important test to confirm drowning as a cause of death. The diatom detection is very important. The diatom as we know a silicon walled unicellular microorganism. Then a sample of the material may conveniently be obtained from the femoral or the sternal bone marrow. The bone marrow is scooped and from there it can be studied. A small portion of bone marrow is scooped out into a test tube. Strong nitric acid is added and it is heated till a clear fluid is obtained. 
that is small bone marrow taken in the test tube strong nitric acid is added and it is heated till the clear fluid is obtained it is then cooled and the sediment is then examined under the microscope the fresh water and the sea water diatoms are different every water has different species so the diatom test is valid only if the disease did not drink that water immediately before immersion and the species recovered from the specimen are present in the specimen from the site that is the species detected from the body should match with the species recovered from the medium the species are in the same order of pre predominance that the pattern of the predominance of those species should be similar if the specimen of diatoms found in the body match with the species of the diatom from the water where the body was found it is strongly positive evidence of drowning so thank you very much this is all about Uh, drown uh, diatoms and i'll continue the uh, internal autopsy finding in the next lecture the eighth lecture take care allah hafiz bye bye please subscribe to my channel and this is my channel name dr javed ikbal kokhar lectures on forensic medicine